Yes everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I will tell you 5 interesting facts about London. Let's go. Number 1 is strong Jamaican influence. It is fascinating to see how Londoners put bits and pieces of Jamaican patois in their day to day speak. <laughs> Are you man? Walk on, put that thing over there. Where, where? Oh baby, they don't like the fluffy girl. Why for that? Why for that? Are you man serious? Are you I'm a bad team man? Tell us what one, man. You're looking for love. It's you man, not me. I'd love if you I'm did. dead. And this influence actually goes much further than language, where you find a lot of Jamaican influence in London, such as paintings, art, festivals, music, um, restaurants, food, culture. There is so much Jamaican influence in London that it is simply unbelievable. Number two, telephone booths or telephone boxes. Whilst these are not used today to make calls because we all have smartphones, they have been transformed to serve other purposes such as green decoration, cafes or libraries. Number three, fish and chips is a daily staple for Londoners. I don't believe that day can go by where Londoners don't eat fish and chips. However, here my advice to you is that if you will go to London, please try fish and chips but do not eat it from tourist-like areas. That means no hotels, no highly populated areas. Try to find some corner shop. Ask a local, hey, where can I get some good fish and chips? And I'm sure you will know. Number four, it rains a lot in London. Statistically, it rains between 11 and 15 days every month. Surely there is some variation and fluctuation. So my advice is this, if you will go to London, don't forget a raincoat or a, an umbrella or rain boots or something to protect you from the rain and even if in the morning it was sunny best believe it that it could easily change in the next second just like that number five there has been some changes with the money used in the uk so if you've been to the uk some years ago or your grandparents or parents and they saved some some money please be aware that that might not still be valid i had such a situation where i was with someone and she had some money that she received from her dad because he went to the uk some years ago and that money was no longer valid so i had to go to a cambio to change it and they of course charge a fee i tried at a bank first but it was not accepted so i was obliged to find a cambio so please be aware of that and finally, even though I said I would have given you just five interesting facts about London, I will give you a bonus. The anthem has been changed. So it reverted to God Save the King instead of God Save the Queen since the ascension of Charles to the throne. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're a Londoner, if you've been to London, if you're expecting to go to London, let me know in the comments down below. With that said, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.